Okay, we're going to go ahead here um, and use antiderivatives to, you know, when we're given a derivative function, we're going to find the original equation, okay? Um, so this is kind of uh, using initial conditions and antiderivatives and so forth to do that. So um, sometimes a derivative equation will be referred to as a differential equation, and later on you'll get into actually, you know, things with specifically differential equations. But um, in this case, see, I've given you f prime of x equals 2x. I've given you f of 1 equals 4. What this is called right here, this would be called an, an initial condition. It's giving you an, a, po a point that is on the original function, or the solution to the differential equation. That's another way of saying the original function. And we want to use that to find f of x. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to start with f prime of x. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I want to get from f prime of x to f of x. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the antiderivative of both sides. Because the antiderivative of f prime is just f. Okay? On the right hand side here, the antiderivative of 2x is going to be x squared plus c. All right, now, what this initial condition will do, it will tell us exactly what c is. Because let me just make a quick sketch right here. You know, f of x equals x squared, that's just a parabola, okay? And it happens, it's, it has the center of the parabola is at zero. Um, the plus c, all that would do is shift it up or down. So if c were zero, it would be right here. And if, you know, c was a positive number, it would be up here somewhere. If c was a negative number, it might be down here somewhere. Well, what the initial condition will do is tell us exactly which one of those it is, so we'll know exactly what c is. <clears throat> so to use that, we take 1, we plug it in for x, because this is telling us that f of 1 equals 4. So when x is 1, the function equals 4. So we take 1, we plug it in for x, and the function should equal 4 when we do that. So we're going to set it equal to 4, and we're going to plug 1 in for x, so it'll just be 1 squared, so it's just 1. And then to find c, I just subtract 1 from both sides and I get that c is equal to 3. Alright, so now I can just go ahead and plug um, 3 back in for c, and I have, I have what f of x is. Okay? Um, yeah, so this right here would be called the particular solution to a differential equation. This would be the general solution to the differential equation, since you know it could represent one of many different graphs. This one is one specific graph, so this would be the particular solution. Um, there you go.